First of all, let me inform you, my English is not so good. So, don't raise your hand if you have any questions. Okay? <laughs> By the way, my name is Hitoshi Kawaguchi. Uh, I'm working for the Sumitomo Bakery. Sumitomo Bakery is a Japanese company who are providing the plastic materials for the electronics, semiconductors, and the automotive, and so on. Yeah, okay. My company is SBE India. It's a subsidiary of the Sumitomo Bakery in India. Okay. I suppose that nobody knows Sumitomo Bakery. You know a lot of the Sumitomo company. But each Sumitomo company have a different independent organizations. Our company is based on the plastic technologies. And we have a more than 100 years history on the plastic businesses. One of the longest life company all over the world. So we start a business from the, oh sorry, business from the Fenric technology based industries. This one is a classic form. The housing is made by the, our plastics. It is the oldest product. And we relate it to the electronics industries. And our customer leads us to the semiconductor industry right now. Not only for that, automotives. We have a very highly technologies for making the new formula. And some of the plastics can replace the metal parts on the automotives, okay? Okay, here is our company size. As a plastic company, it's not so big, it's not so small. We have more than 8,000 employees and annual sales is the two billion US dollar almost. And we have more than 60 global business bases, plant, office, and so on. Okay, here is our business segment. One is for the semiconductor I have already mentioned, and this kind of the technology has been already applied for the automotive industries. You wonder why epoxy is applied for the automotive industries. But classic automotive industry, we have a close relationship with the tire businesses, some kind of the structural parts, and small motors and so on. Okay, let's go to the main topics. Okay, uh, we need to talk about the, how to say, the trend, global trend for the electrifications. The purpose of the electrification is different on each country. For the US and Europe, they always think about something green. But for the China, India, a little bit different. How to reduce the air pollutions, how to improve the efficiency of the energy sources. But electrification is a major trend on the automotive industry. Okay, so for the electric electrification technologies, it developed at the G3 area, Asia, Europe, and the US. Please think about the average temperature of the G3 area. It is very stable, not so cold, not so hot. The technology is suited for the this area. The nominal temperature is around the yellow and green. But for the north part, it's too much cold. So electrification is not so sweated because charging and discharging on the battery is a problem always. As you know, the last year, Norway, Denmark faced a lot of the problems. There are a lot, very long queue on the charging spot because of the difficulty of the charging. Okay, how about the lead area, including India? It's too much hot. Of course, for the battery, it gives a huge influence for the efficiency of the charging and the discharging. But not only for that. Battery, EC control unit, inverter, most huge problem is e-motors. E-motor temperature is increased, power limitations happen. So most of the 
e-mobility users always complain. After the long time drives, suddenly power dropped down. How to stop it? Very important things is that how to consider about the cooling systems for e-motors. Okay, this is my favorite pictures. This is the e-motorbikes. After the long time drives, you can see here. Motor part is a hot spot. So how to cool down? Okay, so to improve the cooling efficiency of the e-motors, we need to consider, uh, we need to think about the source of the heat. It is a e-motor heat loss. As you can see here, top two factor of the power loss, heat loss, is the stator and the loaders. Okay? Most of the e-motor designers say we have already put a very, very excellent cooling system for the e-motors, but just cool the e-motor from the outside, it is no meaning because there is a very huge barrier from the these two hot spot to the outside. How to connect the hot spot and the cooling area? It is a very important thing. This is a fundamental of the summer management concept. Okay? Here is a hot spot. If the cooling spot, the cooling area have some distance, in that case, air works as the insulators of the heat transport. However, if it can attach to the hot spot, it can be cooled down. But in the actual phases, at the interface, as you can see here, two surface is not completely flat. So there is a lot of the air gaps. It also stops the heat transfer. So, especially for the heavy PC user use the silver paste for cooling down the CPUs. But even though that, as you can see here, as a micro point of, a micro point of view, there is a very many, many air gaps between the silver paste and hot spot and the cooling, cooling area. So it stops the heat transfer. How to make a completely attachedness between the cooling area and the hot spot? It is a fundamental understanding for the better summer some management. There are some solutions. One of the solutions is the, our proposal. Okay, so I have already mentioned there are two factors for heat loss on e motors. One is a loader and another one is a stator. I will talk about the loader first. Okay. On the loader core, you can see a magnet. How to fix a magnet? There's some process, but basically, most of our customer is using the liquid glues for fixing the magnet. In that case, liquid glue cannot penetrate to the spaces between the magnet and the loader core. And Loader is heated up for curing the glues. Air traps is swell, and it's pushed back the glue to the outside. Okay, to stop it, if you make a lid, you put a lid on the top and the bottom of the loader core. In that case, it goes through between the each of the sheet stacks, and. There's a lot of the material leakage happens. However, epoxy molding compound and the transfer molding gives the best solutions for 
filling the each of the spaces between the magnet and rotor core. Even though less than 50 micrometers, we can, uh, epoxy can fill this, all those spaces. And uh, side directions material leakage, we, we have a technology to stop it. This is an ideal solution in this moment. OK. So you can see here, this is one of the, our demonstration samples. You can see between the magnet and rotor core, most of all of the space has been already filled by the, our materials. And it makes a lot of the benefit on that. Magnet temperature can be reduced 10 to 20 degrees. It is a very huge improvement. And long lasting because magnet is fixed completely. So after the high speed and low speed operation cycles, it never be sifted. And higher rotation speed is also possible. So you can minimize the e-motors. Or you can get the high power with the same design of the e-motors. Maximum one is a 30K RPM. It is, it is an extremely high rotation speed. OK. I want to show the actual temperature of the magnet with our solutions. But it is not possible, because we cannot set the sensors, temperature sensors, inside of the rotor. But this is a very simple simulation of the temperature degradation, the temperature distributions. As you can see here, with the classic designs, center part of the magnet becomes a very high temperature. Under the same conditions, if you install these solutions, center part magnet temperature becomes lower. Top side and bottom side, not so much different, but the center part always causes problems. And if you want to cool down the magnet more, in that case, we can provide a higher thermal conductivity materials for the better thermal trans transparency to the rotor stacks. OK? OK, tech teams, please change the monitors for the movies. OK? I can show you the process of the rotor magnet moldings with our material solutions. Hi, tech team. Excuse me. Tech teams, please switch the monitors for the movie. My movie doesn't work on the PowerPoint. I'm so sorry. This is a modern die. And here's a rotor core. As you can see here, magnet pocket is here. And magnet is inserted. This is a fully manual process for the, our demonstrations. Of course, automated system has been already installed. And I put the top plate. This is the runner plate to supply the material from the center to the edge. Very simple. This is the epoxy materials. It is preheated. OK, put the material onto the plungers. Pot and the plungers. Plunger gives the pressures. And the molding process is just only the two to three minutes. And the material is cured. No need to worry about any post-cure or something. Okay, all of the spaces has been already filled by the epoxy. This is a very simple process. Why don't you try to use them? It's my message. And not only in Japan, this is the, my partner's process lines. We can do the same things in India already. If you want to make a prototypes, I can take care. Okay, thank you. 
Please back to the, my presentations. Wait, 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 wait a moment. Additional slide is here. Okay, so not only for the magnet, state side also can be fixed by our materials. We have already made uh, this kind of the demonstrators. You can see here, all of the space is filled by the, our materials. Okay, if you want to cool down the state more, in that case, you can use the water channel at here. But it's too much risky. Here is the, of course, we have already take the data with the actual e-motors, but it cannot be shown on this presentation because we have a strong NDA with our customer. But we can do the, some simulations. As you can see here, in the traditional ways, we cannot stop the heat up the stator coils. But with our technology, it can show the 164 degree C. More than 30 degrees C reduction is possible. So there are no power limitations on your drive. Okay? And for the two-wheeler, on this slide, previous slide, okay, and uh, I mentioned about the hairpin coil, but for the EB two-wheeler, most of our customer is using the winding coils. Don't worry about it. We have uh, some experience on the winding coils. And don't remove the initiation paper. With the initiation papers, our material can fix the wires and the papers and fill all of the spaces. And it can give the better summer pass from the state coil to the state coil. To show the evidence, actual evidence on our proposal, we have already made this kind of demonstrators. And uh, not only for the loader and the stator side, we make uh, housings by the plastics and the gear covers, shaft covers, and inverter housings. We make a plastic, we make it by the plastics. And this demonstrator has been already sent to the university, and this one is on the bench. And uh, we can show you the, some data in the future. Okay, and on this exhibition, we have a booth in the whole two, F5A. Please come to our booth to talk about the, our proposal. Okay, we always welcome your idea. Idea and material cannot make any benefit. So we always consider about the prototyping. Let's create a new benefit on electrification with us, okay? So, this kind of prototyping facilities, in the last years, we have no facility in India, but partially, we have already launched the prototyping facility in India. Next year, maybe completely open. So, let's come with us for getting the new futures, new horizons of the electrification. Okay, thank you very much. And finally, this session, not only the this sessions, it's delayed so much. So I want to cut the Q&A sessions because I cannot speak English so well, right? And please come to our booth, hold to F5A. Let's talk about your questions at our booth. Thank you very much.